smash to find the ultimate gladiator of all time, the smoke and steel of atmospheres, the hand-tearing hang tough, the sinew-stretching swing shot, and the diabolical duel. And to introduce this gladiator on Gladiator Spectacular, your hosts, Ulrika Johnson and John Fashionu. the show you've all been waiting for. Over the past eight years, we've pitched David against Goliath, but tonight, six of our male gladiators are going to battle it out for the title of Ultimate Gladiator. Never in the history of gladiators have we ever given out such a sum of money. The winner, the gladiator who's going to walk away with the crown of the Ultimate Gladiator, will receive £10,000! the gladiators who are getting ready to rumble. Wolf, Rhino and Cobra. And Ace, Hunter and the mighty Saracen! Well, it sounds to me, guys, as if the audience are ready to rumble. How are you feeling about this competition? I feel fine. We had mixed feelings before. We're all brothers and we're going against each other, but we're looking forward to it. We're all equipped individually for different games. And, uh, you know, let's get it on. All right, Wolf, I have to ask you if you're going to play fairly. You're with your mates now. You're not fighting any contenders. No, all, all the gladiators are very, very good. I'm here to prove a point that at 47, I can mix it with the best, and these are the best. Oh, well, and you're not too bad yourself. And, Cobra, we've seen you monkeying around and clowning around. There must be an element of seriousness when there's £10,000 at stake. Of course not. You know, money doesn't affect me that way. Um, beyond that... Um, all I'm looking to do tonight is have a lot of fun because these guys are like family. Well, in fact, a lot like my sisters. Stepsister. My joke in all right, Dad. Yeah, I'm just looking to have a lot of fun tonight. OK, well, the very best of luck to all of you. Let's hear it for Rhino, Wolf and Cobra. Off you go. OK, Ace, let's start with you, Ace. I can see that you bulked up. You must have put on about five stone for this event. Why have you done it? Not quite five stone, John, more like a stone. Um, <laughs> as soon as I heard about the challenge, I decided that to go against my fellow gladiators, I'd have to be a bit heavier. So that was the reasoning behind that. Um, but to be honest with you, John, I'm quite pleased, or well, I'm quite privileged that uh, I'm going to be a part of this challenge, because as you know, I've only been part of the series for three, three years now. Um, so it's a privilege uh, and both an honour to be in the show with the, with the other glads. Great stuff. Thanks, Ace. Hunter, you look like you've lost weight. You've been doing a lot of martial arts. You've trimmed down. You're more agile. How is that going to help you? But, well, I've gone the other way to Ace. Um, in that I thought I'd go slightly lighter rather than put on five stone. So I'm going more for the fitness side rather than the weight. Hopefully that'll carry me through. Great stuff. Saracen, what's it like having to compete against your friends for many, many years? And you're all ultimate challengers. That's right, I've been here eight years now, and uh, this is all new to me, you know, gladiator versus gladiator. I'm just going to have a good time tonight. Um, you know, games like the duel, you know, we all think Rhino's the best. Games like hang tough, everyone thinks I'm the best. We're now going to put it to the test tonight, so we'll find out who really is the best. Gentlemen, let's get it on. Ace, Hunter, and the mighty Saracen. So let the battle of the giants begin. Moving on into our first heat. In the orange atmosphere, it's Ace! And in the yellow atmosphere, the Cobra! And in the blue, the mighty Rhino! Oh, will it, John Anderson? Let me go! Time for the talking to stop and the action to start. Metal and muscle in this atmosphere, two lap race. This is not about points and smoke, it's about the power and speed. The Glads had to stay outside the pod markers and Cobra couldn't be wider. He needs to get back on track. Rhino, in blue, leads the pack, eight second, through the smoke of pod four, and Ace takes it up at the pod three marker. Cobra coming up on the inside, steers his yellow sphere into the lead at the start of lap two. 
faster they go, the more points they clock up. The slowest two blacks from both heats are eliminated. And Rhino fighting back, eight wide as they hit the final straight. Cobra extending the lead, sets up a smoke screen. As Cobra wins, Rhino second, Ace is third. And the Cobra fan club pleased with that. Well, Cobra, you have to tell me, for a veteran like yourself, you've been with us since right at the beginning of Gladiators, how did that feel to be going round and round the floor? That is so tough. And I'm so tired, <laughs> I've got a job to speak, but, you know, it's, we want to have a lot of fun tonight. I hope and really believe whoever wins is going to deserve it, because any of us, on any good night, are capable of winning. Well, you did that in 43 seconds, and you're definitely through to the next stage. So, well done. Let's hear it for Cobra. Time for the post-heat summation. Oh, glad Cobra won. He uh, really, really deserved that. He's one of the smallest gladiators, but um, he's always messing about. But at least he's actually proved that he can actually do something. <laughs> Here are the times. Cobra 43.12, Rhino 45.68, Ace 47.31. So moving on into our second heat. In the orange atmosphere is Hunter. The yellow atmosphere, the Wolfman. And in the blue atmosphere, the mighty Hasara Oh, we're going to join Anderson. Let it go! to race and some fast times to beat. Wolf and Yellow, the early pacemaker, second Hunter and Sarah bringing up that rear. Hunter cuts inside, great move, skip marks everywhere, snatches the lead. Hunter one, Wolf two and Saracen three. And we're coming up on the end of lap one and the fast feet of Hunter showing the way. Rounding the penultimate turn, and Wolf holding on to second place. Over pod two marker, the long last bend and the lead extending into the final straight. A great racing line, a clear win for the Huntsman. Really showing his mettle in this event. The Wolf keeps second and third goes to Saracen. Just hope Sarah's quicker than that when he's driving his fire engine. Now don't forget the slowest two glads over the two heats are eliminated from the next event. Wolf got a blistering start but as Hunter hit stride he rear-ended Wolf badly affecting his steering and Wolfie did well to regain control. Hunter, congratulations. Fantastic performance. Obviously, you go through. Talk us through it. Well, John, we are at a bit of a disadvantage on the outside line there, but uh, I'm pretty well fired up. Well, you look like you were psyched up. You look like you yeah, were psyched. I'm fired up and ready to go. This is the best of the best, and I want to come on number one. Well then, Hunter, you're through. It's here for Hunter! Well, Wolf, it looked to me as if you were doing quite well to start off with. I was, and then uh, I hit the bend first and someone hit me from the back. I don't know who did it. Well, Saracen, how was your run? It was terrible. I like bashing people up in atmospheres. Racing in them is a different kettle of fish. The boys were quick. Um, they took the inside line. I kept going too wide. But, hey, I had a great time. It was fantastic. Well, it's good that you had a good time because, unfortunately, I bring you some bad news. Both yourself and Ace were too slow to qualify in this heat. But it's good news for Rhino and Wolf. You're through to the next stage. Together with Cobra and Hunter, of course. Hunter's time, 41.81. Wolf four seconds behind. So after that first heat, the two slowest, Saracen and Ace, are eliminated from the next event. <laughs> to our next event, and it's Cobra! And he's pulling against the Rhino! Over to John Adams. Lock in. Sensational stats posted by both gladiators. Rhino first, and who can argue with those figures? By my reckoning, Cobra is 11 centimetres taller, but 16 kilos lighter. Ow, that deafened me too. Dick, the strain. And the strain already showing on Cobra's face. Clearly doesn't fancy his chances in the whiplash ring Three, tonight. Two, one. Ten points for the winner, and no surprise that the Rhino is the superior drag artist. Cobra wondering what happened. Seems Cobra's legendary pulling power has deserted him after all these years. 
one, Rhino. I think you made your mind up to win that one. Well, yeah, I needed the points, and um, that game favours me. There's other games that favour Cobra. He's very agile, and um, watch out for him, because he is a dark horse. Cobra, I think he's being kind. What do you think? He's being very kind, but he's, he's done me a favour, because look at me arm. I don't, Cobra, backstage you were saying that, no, I'm not going to beat... I'm not going to beat Rhino. You were right. Well, I had him worried for about a tenth of a second. <laughs> right, it was a tenth of a second. Anyway, well done, Rhino! I love you, Cobra. And the confirmed scores after Whiplash Heat won, exactly as you might have expected. Moving on into our second heat, and it's the Wolfman! <laughs> Lock in. Compared to the previous battle, this is a tougher one to call. Usually they work hand in glove. Kick the stream. Wolf. Well, this should be good. 30 seconds of mauling and hauling. Hunter making sure it doesn't go the distance. Hunter's heaved. But Wolf won't be peeved, losing to a man more than 50 years his junior. Great performance, you guys. Great performance. Absolute awesome strength, Hunter. Talk us through it. Shouting again. Well, Wolf's still got my arm here. <laughs> his little price. No, I mean, he's very strong. You know, Wolf tends to be good at the rings, the walls, stuff like that. He's a bit lighter than myself, so I didn't have an advantage there in strength. But he's got, a, he's got a good pull on him. I like the way you psych yourself up. You really do scare people. Yeah, well, a lot, a lot of the power for me is like 30% mental, so I've got to get into the game. So I'm sorry to make a little bit of noise. No problem. Well done. Wolf, do you expect him to be so tough? I knew it was going to be hard. I mean, um, as you said, he's got more body weight than me, but I'm very strong as well, so it was a tough competition. It's a great competition. Well done, Wolfman, and well done, Hunter. Well done, guys. And unless someone can find a pair of scissors, they're going to be tied together all night. Second heat of the Whiplash, 10-point win for Hunter. Total so far, Hunter 16, Rhino training by two, the rest in single figures. And getting ready to climb the wall, it's Ace! Rhino! And Saracen! The next, the next heat, all three are very good climbers. So who will win? Very close. Please your bets now. Ready! Three, two, one! Sarah's on the right, Rhino up the middle, and Ace to the left. Saracen has the edge thanks to Siren's encouragement. Ace is in second place. And remember, all the gladiators are back in this event, so the slowest two up the wall over the two heats will be eliminated from the next event. He's got it. Oh, Sarah makes a dive and misses, but it won't make any difference. The heavy guy's making light work of this wall. Sarah's going to top it off first, finishes it second time. It's tight between the training pair, but Ace gets his leg over first, Rhino right behind him. Great climb by Saracen, more used to scaling a ladder than a granite wall. Falters just briefly at the top, could cost him a valuable second or two in the final analysis. Well done, Saracen, absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Um, I was a bit eager to get over the wall, you see, because I know what these guys are capable of. They may be big boys, but I've trained with them. I know what they can do on this wall. So when I reached the top, I was stretched and I nearly lost it. And earlier, Terence, I must say, you did say that everybody's got a good event. That was obviously one of your best events. That is one of my events. Um, I specialised in it over the years. I've got a few more coming up, so hopefully I'll build up some more points and you see me there at the end. Well done, Saracen. You're Thank going you. through. Well done. Some quick times to try and better. Saracen well under the half minute. Let's see how the other three fare. They can beat that in the next heat. So we now move into our second heat with Hunter. It as well. Rio loves Wolf's haircut, despite the fact it was done by a cross-eyed clown with a fly mo. Oh, a support for Wolf. I wonder how much that cost him. 
Hunter leads, Cobra second, Wolf in third place, but climbing strongly. Hunter really getting to grips with this wall, and Cobra coming back at him. This climb going like clockwork for Hunter and Cobra, and that will be reflected in their times. The Wolf not used to going up in the world, and he has picked the most difficult section to go up the middle, but doing well nonetheless. And he was in very impressive company. As the summit loomed large, Cobra came back at Hunter, but the big man kept his head and held on to his lead. Close climb. Well, congratulations, Hunter. You're going to go through very fast time, actually the fastest time. Yeah, I mean, the wall's one of my strongest events, just like, you know, with Saracen, it's hanged up. We've all got our strengths and weaknesses. Um, but if I hadn't won the wall, I'd probably have to give myself a bit of a slap. Well, you've done very well. Fastest time. And we've now got the scores. So, Ace, you're going through. Saracen, Hunter and Cobra go through. And unfortunately, this time I have to say goodbye to the Wolfman and Rhino. Oh, dear. Cobra's asking for a slap. Told you. Served him right. Let's check out the times of those last climbs against the clock. Hunter less than 25 seconds, Cobra just behind. And here's who qualified for the next event. Hunter, Cobb, Sarah and Ace. So Wolf and Rhino, too slow, they go. So that's the end of our first part of this Battle of the Giants, but there's plenty more events waiting just around the corner. So join us after the break here on Gladiators. Welcome back to our National Indoor Arena. And we're joined with two very familiar faces, two gladiators. Diesel, how seriously are you taking this event tonight? Well, the guys, I mean, they're doing well so far. They've, uh, I think they've got a couple of injuries, but um, I'm going to try and take them out and keep the points down this time. I don't want them to score any points on me. Good. Vulcan, our Australian gladiator, you're up against the English gladiators here, and you've got to stop them from scoring points. Are you going to do it? You know, Fash, you know, when they put two powers together, coming exploding in midair, Everything is going to come crashing down like, you know, the atoms in the air. That's what they mean by the power of the gladiator. It's strength versus strength, power versus power. I tell you what, this match tonight is going to be a bubbly personification of fistic brutality. Great, sounds good to me. Vulcan, get yourself ready. Off you go. And using the blue balls is Hunter. And the red balls is Cobra. versus Vulcan. Hunter gets the measure of the Aussie Glad off the mark with a quick two. Oh, Diesel flaps Cobra, who hasn't progressed an inch. Vulcan takes the Hunter. By the way, if anyone understood a word of what Vulcan was going on about in that chat with Fash, you're smarter than I am. Must have been written by Eric Cantona. Cobra like a jack-in-the-box, but Diesel's unimpressed. Hunter with speed, and the Vulcan is flawed. And three points scored. Even Cobra getting stuck in on Vulcan. Hunter reloads, that trick won't work with Hunter, he simply selects another basket. Cobra snaking around the pitch. Sneaks in a three-pointer and finds time to practice his Norman Wisdom walk. Vulcan takes down the Hunter. Cobra reloads, Diesel cuddles him. Give us a kiss. Take down. Hunter with less than 15 seconds to go. The Hunter really getting up Vulcan's nose now. And even Hunter's ball getting up his nose now. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, John Anderson failing to see the humour in the situation, so no change there. Hunter outpaces Vulcan, but slams into the back of Diesel. The Hooter winds it up. Hard work all round. Good scoring from Hunter, although that last ball didn't count. Impressed his fans, though. Amazing explosion of pace from such a big guy. Great goal coming up. Well, I saw you psyching yourself up for that one. There are a few antics going on around your area. Yeah, Vulcan's just a big lump and he's not very nice. So, <laughs> I had to uh, get a little bit aggressive with him. Well, and there was a little bit of ball throwing in his face. I thought that was a bit cheeky. Well, he's got such an ugly face, I thought I'd throw something at it. Oh, pot falling the kettle black. Um, Cobra, um, you're, you're just clowning around here and having a laugh, but you did get to the centre at one stage. Yeah, I'm quite shocked, actually. It takes me half hour to run the length of his arms. <laughs> sure, he's very, very tall. 
all. And we discovered last year, of course, that he's very good at this game too. Yeah, uh, I'm quite really happy that I actually got into the middle pot. Perhaps there's something in this muck and about, Lark. <laughs> yeah, maybe there is. Listen, let's bring John in to find out what the scores are. Not too difficult to count this, uh, Ulrika. Cobra, three points. Hunter, seven points. Uh, well so, those are the scores to beat in this next Powerball heat. And next up to face Vulcan and Diesel with the blue balls is Saracen. The Gladiators getting a taste of their own medicine. It's to be Vulcan tackling Sarah and Diesel on ace. An ace with space. Diesel on the deck. Oh, and three points in the bank. Thank you very much. Vulcan can't hold Saracen. Two points. Saracen. Oh, he's lucky. He's inviting Vulcan to dance. They trip the light. Fantastic. Ace with pace. Three points for a centre basket. Ace leads. Six points to two. Saracen replenishes, squares up to Vulcan and wonders where his ball went. Sarah bewildered, he was Rob Ref, literally. Diesel practicing his judo on ace there. Saracen again, the big man not bothering to find the pace he needs to bypass Vulcan. It's another big cuddle as they tango to the floor. Ace ducking, but no diving. Diesel with fast reactions. Oh, and ace straight into Saracen. Ace just misses with his last gasp effort there. Less than 10 seconds, Saracen again. Oh, that's more like the Sarah we know and love. Reloads. Can he steal another two before the whistle? Unlucky. Solid performance from all four big fellas. When Saracen combined his power with his speed, he became unstoppable. to watch you and Vulcan because you're both as dirty as each other and at one stage you were doing the polka in the middle of the floor. Was it the polka? It's a dance. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's the waltz. <laughs> it could have been the waltz. I, I took the direct route. I tried to run straight through him because uh, he's a big guy. It took me ages to run around him. So I tried to run through him. It worked to a certain degree but uh, he's a big man and uh, I think I've got a few baskets, isn't it? Yeah, well, you're not so small yourself. And Ace, a bit of bad luck at times there. I mean, you were doing quite well, but uh, Diesel's quite a big one. I wasn't expecting too much because Diesel's a brilliant gladiator. I mean, he runs 26-mile marathons and stuff, so I knew he wasn't going to be tired. Um, but I was happy. I got a couple of centre pods. Fell down just as I was getting in a couple of times. I'm quite happy with that. All right, well, let's call John in and see what the score is. Well, Saracen had a little bit of bad luck. He scored... Four points, nearly scored another one, but the ball didn't go in the pod, so he's... Four oh, come points. On. That was six. OK. Ace, six points. Well done. That's it for Ace and Saracen. Here's confirmation of the final scores in Powerball. And here's the situation on the master scoreboard. Hunter extending his lead, but there's not much in it for second place. Now, earlier on in Powerball, of course, we first made uh, contact with Vulcan. What are you doing back here in the country? I thought you were meant to be in Australia. Yeah, yeah um, actually, when I finished here last year, I, um, I got a call back from uh, the James Bond film people, and they, they saw me at the, the, at the Gladiators last year. They're pretty impressed of me being nasty and everything, even though I'm a really nice guy. We don't believe that for a second. So what are you doing in the Bond film? I'm actually playing a villain. Um, no, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's been really good. I mean, thanks to the, the Gladiators, of course. Uh, that's how I actually got my break. So what sort of things have you been getting up to in the film so far? Uh, doing a lot of stunts, uh, throwing people through windows and uh, punching people in the head and you know, gunfire and the whole thing. So nothing different from Gladiators, really? Exactly like Gladiators. That's why I really love the, um, the part. And is that why the hair changes come about as well? That's why the hair changes. You remember, I used to have uh, braids before, but now they want to change the hair. Well, I have to say, it's difficult to say, but it's good to have you back. Let's hear it for Vulcan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And the first two up are Hunter and Wolf. Over to Jonas. And again, all six gladiators are back in for this race. Slowest two will be eliminated from the next round. Three, two, one. 
Well, this should be good. Hunter versus Wolf, a there and back race against the clock. Hunter, a ringmaster of enormous skill. Wolf, the oldest swinger in town, but a terrific hand tough exponent. Wolf with quite a following in the crowd and a bit of a lead over Hunter at the halfway stage. And Wolf touches down first. Next comes the return journey. This is all about completing the course in the fastest time. Wolf away first. Giant swings from the Wolfman. And Hunter can't compete with those. Wolf misses a ring, and that'll cost him time, and Hunter swoops into the lead. Wolf's lost his momentum completely. What a tragedy when he had it all but sewn up. Hunter first back. Wolf completes the course, and a great effort from him. A fast time was a mere formality until he overstretched himself, missed the ring and wasted valuable seconds in the doldrums. Well, it was beautiful to watch to start with. It was like synchro synchronised air ballet. And you must be a little bit disappointed because, of course, you got to the first platform first. Uh, I had to hang around and wait for the rings to be swinging in the right direction. It's a bit of luck on the second game because on the way back, the rings can be anywhere. Absolutely, and I knew you wouldn't be happy with anything else than a win. <laughs> Well, what I actually did, I, I saw Wolf go off and I saw the way my rings were swinging. The thing is, when you're going back on yourself, the rings are all over the place. So I waited and tried to go in line, so as my rings were swinging back, I was able to get hold of them. And how's the shoulder bearing up? Yeah, you know, we're getting there. A couple more events left, so fingers crossed we'll get through to the end. All right, let's see it for Hunter and Wolf. Well done. An unlucky break for Wolf, added at least seven seconds to his time. Let's see how the next two do in the second heat. against Ace, and Cobra already ahead of Ace overall, but Ace swinging straight and strong looks to have the edge. The going is good while the rings are still, but on the journey back, that's when the trouble starts, when they start moving about. Hello, Cobra's blown it early, misses a ring, and the Ace gets to the halfway house first. Cobra's there at last. Ace swings for the homeward straight. Cobra goes two. Urgency has crept into Cobra's work. Cobra's gone completely, tried to snatch at too many rings. That's too greedy. One at a time, I think, is the name of the game. So while Cobra loses the plot completely, Ace wins the race and in the fastest time so far. Cobra knew he had to do something to get back into this event. Unfortunately, the something he did was of no help whatsoever. Well, Cobra, I'm beginning to think that, ah, oh, that you'll do anything for a laugh. Actually, that was an accident. If so was. <laughs> Oh, I've got nothing to say, but... Uh, oh, darling, you just whoops, got a bit excited. Whoops, yes. yes. And doing so well. Well, you know, all right for an old boy. Oh, you're not that old. And, uh, well, congratulations, I guess, taking advantage there of Cobra falling off. I've got to say I'm shocked, because Cobra is the man on the rings. I think that... I think he just panicked a little bit in the middle, and I don't know what happened there, but I'm, I'm shocked. All right, we're all shocked. We're deeply shocked. We're going to go away and be very shocked. Let's hear it for Cobra and Ace. I didn't think I was going to split. He's the man on the rings. What's going on? And I'm shocked he still got that hair colour. Here are the official times. Ace the quickest so far. And last up, it's Rhino and Saracen. Rhino! Over to John Anderson. And he goes ready! Three, two, one. Well, Saracen, a hang-tough cookie of old, while Rhino has never really been happy on the ring. Saracen, with a cool head and solid gold easy action, a picture of a man happy in his work. Rhino in a drop of trouble there in no man's land. Sarah makes it to the platform. Oh, and Rhino's gone! Down and out in Beverly Hills. His fans are as stunned as he is. Saracen sets off on the homeward stretch. It's all about time could do with a quick one to improve his standing on the master scoreboard. Massive swings and heading for a very fast time. Two more should do it. One. Saracen, one of the originals and one of the best. He's there. And then he's not. 
He's only wearing Sarah's and he's so good at these rings. He's had lots of practice and he always does well on the rings. Well, Sarah, huge congratulations. This is your game, though, isn't it? It is. Um, I think that in this game, particularly, because you're not chasing anyone, you're not catching anyone, you're going back and forth. The rings are moving a bit, so it is a bit of luck in the swing. I think Rhino, he was a bit unlucky with his swing. I got the, you know, the right swing. The, the rings were coming back to me beautifully. I got them nicely, and hey, what can I say? Well, although you're not chasing anyone and trying to catch somebody, were you trying to go as fast as you could? I was, yeah. <laughs> well, let's hope so. We'll wait and find out what your time was. And very, very unlucky. It did look as if you were struggling up there. I wasn't struggling. Yes, you were. Oh, we... Oh. oh. Well, for those of you who are sitting so far away, there's basically just bare flesh on Rhino's hands. So if you're having your dinner at home now, enjoy it. A bit of sympathy there from the audience, and that's what I'm saying. It looked to me as if you were in pain or you were struggling. I was in pain, yeah, but I just wanted to go through it. That's what Gladiators is all about. It's the ultimate challenge, and that's what we've come here to prove. Absolutely. Let's hear it for Rhino and Sarah. Yeah. That bash has hardly helped his injured hand, Sarah. Those are the times. Here's how they scored on that heat. And the lowest scorers, Rhino and Cobra, won't take part in. Shot. First up, the swing shot is Ace! And the Wolfman! And they'll be facing the Cobra and Diesel! Over to John Anderson. Ace and Wolf! The men in black are the bad guys looking to keep the scores down. Wolf goes up, and that blue's worth two. Ace delays his jump. Ace is high, but nothing to show for it. Wolf, fantastic on elastic. Good free swing. Picks a yellow and makes Diesel look like a lemon. Ace next. Marked out of it by Cobra. Wolf again. No sign of Diesel. Wolf's got the yellow fever at the moment. Another easy point there. Coming up on the half minute. Ace this time breaks his duck and brings a yellow down. Wolf goes for a blue. Won't like that. Once again, the diesel's so late, you'd think he was run by British Rail. Ace still having trouble getting his first ball in the basket. Wolf commits. Cobra jumps to intercept him just for devilment. Wolf can't get a look in. Ace still struggles to basket his yellow. Diesel might be off the track, but Ace can't even get on the platform. Wolf for a last effort. Bad contact with the floor. Short of the high stuff. Yeah, Ace again, but the pop will beat him. Ace will be none too pleased with that performance. Easily the best work came from the Wolf. Early doors pounced and bounced his way to the blue ball section. OK, let's have a look at the scores. Ace scored one point. Those are the confirmed scores for the next two glads to beat. And the next up to do battle against Cobra and Diesel is the mighty Hunter! And Saracen! Over to John Anderson. Hunter! Saracen! And looking for a flying start, or oh, the clash in the middle, and it's raining points down to the floor. Saracen, blue ball, two points. First to the second jump, Hunter follows. Sarah with another blue, almost has it stolen by Hunter. Saracen again with very little left on the cylinder. Nothing for that swing. Hunter's up for it. Oh, no surprise there. Big high jump, picks one of the plums, a three-point red. Incoherent gibberish from Cobra, but enough to put Sarah off his swing. Hunter aiming for the pick of the crop. Oh, right at the top. Cylinder coolly swings away from him. Diesel recovers on the pull. Saracen again. Well up for a blue. Shame there are none left. 
Hunter with his pockets empty. Looks like the time has run out for the guys in this event. Scores could have been much higher, but for that early ball stripping clash. Still, Hunter's fans happy with his performance. All Hunter's points came from one example of textbook bungee business. So let's have a look at the scores. Hunter, three points. And Saracen, four points. And let's hear from our gladiators, Cobra and Diesel. Well done, guys. Confirmation of the scores, and here's how that affects the overall standing. Hunter still on top. Ace and Sarah fighting it out for second spots. Well, don't go away. Join us after the break for some more exciting action here on Gladiator! indoor arena here in Birmingham and to the battle of the giants well it's very exciting now because it's gladiator on gladiator up on duel John Anderson would you please start picking couples out of your bag of balls right the first two gladiators to compete are Cobra and Hunter Cobra and Hunter would you please make your way up onto the duel straight away so we can get on with the games and we'll carry on and the next two are Ace and Rhino Ace and Rhino Which? and the last two of course, obviously, <laughs> leaves Saracen and, and Wolf. Wolf. That's a surprise. Okay, the very best of luck to you, and we'll see who comes through at the end. Good luck. So, first up on the duel, it's Cobra against Hunter. Cobra looking confident, but I wouldn't hold his breath. Hunter has a reputation. For knocking the living daylights out of people in this event, which won't affect Cobra because he's got no daylights left. Here's a Cobra fan, at least she hasn't forgotten who her hero is. Hunter will need all his powers against Cobra if only to stop himself from laughing. No, he can't even do that tonight. The battle commences, Hunter all over the shop. Not like him, but then he's never before faced someone who thinks they're a cross between Sid Little and Dale Winton. Cobra in trouble, all ends up. Comes back at Hunter, Hunter returns the favour. It was a danger that this could have turned out more like dueling banjos than dueling pugils, but the glads are going for it. Oh, in the midriff from Cobra. He's certainly swinging out and clinging on. Good effort from both glads. Hardly handbags and 20 paces at all. The Hooter finishes the job. At one point, it was like Harry Ramsden's on a Friday night the battering Cobra was getting. Fair play, he soaked it up and then came back to Rock Hunter with a couple of belters. Throwing them in from all directions, even if they were in slow motion. Well, I have to say, Cobra, yes. and with all due respect to this fella standing here, yes. I was hoping that you would <laughs> knock him off because of the size difference, and it looked at the beginning as if you might be in with a chance. Yeah, I was going easy on him, you know. <laughs> I'm so exhausted, I can't tell you. In fact, I won't tell you. <laughs> all right, we like it that way. And, I mean, were you expecting that from him? Yeah, I've seen Cobra fight many, many times. He might not be as big as the rest of us, but uh, he's very devious with a stick. Certainly is. Well, well done to the two of you. You both pick up five points. Well done. Devious with a stick, he certainly takes a lot of it anyway. Right, 5-5 five, five the score, here's the girls with a summary. Hunter's in the lead just now with the most points, but this game will allow some of the other guys, like Rhino and Saracen, to make up points, <laughs> and then who knows who could be the eliminator? What do we find out? Looks like Halloween down there, doesn't it? Next up on Joel, it's Ace! And he's facing Rhino! We'll go to John Anderson. Ace! This should be a classic. Rhino needs the points here. Ace, a superb tactician on the pugil platform. Rhino firing himself up. At least that's what I think he's doing. The battle is on. The guys launching some range-finding blows to get the measure of the opposition. Ace will bring skill to this contest. Rhino, his famous explosive power. And we're all looking forward to seeing that. Oh, but on the other hand, seems we're going to be disappointed. That's it all over. He steps across. Oh my gosh! That's a shame, you know. That, that could have been a good fight, yeah. but just that Rhino lost his balance a bit. But that could have been an excellent fight. 
thanks to our State of the Obvious correspondent for those wise words. Rhino just leans too much and loses it. So a 10-0 win for the ace, which will do his overall score the world of good and puts him in clear second place. And last up on duel, it's Wolf. And he's facing Saracen. They needed big scales and long tape measures to get the stats of these two fellas. Sarah, 191 and 111 kilos. Wolfman, 8 centimetres shorter and 16 kilos lighter. Both guys among the few surviving original gladiators. They know each other's styles and strengths as well as they know their own. There's only one Saracen. And there aren't too many like Wolf either. Saracen puts his height advantage to work. The Wolf desperate to get into his stride. Oh, Wolf's gone! Straight out the back door. And Siren's upset, he had a fiver on him. Mind you, Wolf's got nothing to be ashamed of. Not many have beaten Saracen in duels since Glads began eight years ago. Saracen literally head and shoulders above Wolf. The old fella gamely has a go, but the end was inevitable. Say huge congratulations and a big smile on your face. I think it was only two or three bashes there, wasn't it? Yeah, um, I think Wolf tried to take my head off with that blow and he missed and he <laughs> lost his balance and he went off. I didn't hit him that hard. Did he hit you hard or not? I did go for the big blow, but uh, he's such a big guy, you've got to go for it. So 50-50 uh, chance of doing it and uh, I fluffed it. <laughs> well, you normally do quite well. Let's hear it for Wolf anyway and Sarah. Well done, 10 points. It's a 10-0 win for Saracen. Finally on the master scoreboard, we have Hunter, the outright winner, with 41. Who will he be facing in the Eliminator with eight and Sarah both on 28 points? Eliminator. In this Battle of the Giants, only two of our six gladiators uh, can go through to the Eliminator, and the highest scoring gladiator at the end of all the events tonight is Hunter, so he goes through. But tonight we have a tie for second place between Ace and Saracen. The competition rules state that the highest scorer in the race events will go through, and in this case, it happens to be Ace. Ace is going to be running the Eliminator with Hunter. Uh, Saracen, I have to say, very well done tonight. Ace is the man for the job, what can I tell you? He is going to win this, believe, put your money on Ace. You just want a cup of tea, don't you? Yeah, I indeed. Can we, okay. Can, can we do our feet? Can you what? Can we do our feet? Right, tag team. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, you can't. Ace, you're going to be doing it on your own. Uh, I don't know how you feel about that. Um, well, I'm not sure what the lead is. I'm, uh, obviously, uh, Hunter's got a lead. Um, but I'll just try my best and hope he falls off the seesaws. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping for a bit of luck. <laughs> Hunter, well, you've got six and a half seconds head start. Is it enough? Well, you know, John, I, I'm not going to take this lightly because I've seen people catch up with 15 seconds head start. So I'm just going to focus on each piece of apparatus and hopefully uh, take it all away, Louis. Have you ever done the Eliminator before? Yeah, we've done it twice. Um, we practiced uh, yes yesterday, so we've not really had much of a chance to have a go at it, but uh, we've all been through it twice. Any part of the apparatus which worries you at all? Yeah, I, like Saracen says, I'm not very good at these seesaws, so uh, <laughs> if I'm one of those, I could be in trouble. OK, Hunter and Ace, take your positions. He'll certainly sing like a soprano if he falls off the seesaw. Real excitement and expectation in the crowd, the first time ever that two glads have gone head-to-head -head over the Eliminator course. Hunter with impeccable credentials, impeccable pecs as well, for that matter. A metre 90 tall and 103 kilos. Against him, the ace, five centimetres shorter but two kilos heavier, and knows he's really up against it, as you can see. John Anderson has control. Hunter, you will go on my first whistle. Ace... You will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Six and a half seconds advantage. Hunter's slimmed down for this competition, but there's still plenty of bulk to heave and haul around this, the most famous obstacle course in the world. Ace is underway and under the beam. Hunter up and over the first net. Ace for the traffic bounce to the web. The crowd are behind both of them. Hunter gears up for the overhead ladder. Ace hoping the rope won't burn away the seconds he's clawing back. Hunter on the rungs. Ace on upswing, looking at touch ropey on the rope. Hunter swings just one way and smooth with the changeover. Ace seriously quick on the ladder. Hunter on the climb. Is he tensing? No, this is the cargo net, not Everest. 
Ace coming back strongly. Ace's biggest fan knows he's in with a chance. Hunter at the top of the world. He'll nip along the gantry and then zip down that line. This eliminated course so tough for these big fellas. Ace better on the net. Hunter swoops to the floor. That line stretched to breaking point. Skids to a stop. Ace reaches the summits. Next will be the plummet down the zip line. Here's the bit that Hunter's been dreading. Ace on the line. And a hard-stopping picture. His fan still in good voice. Hunter, second seesaw. Still less than happy. Slams it down. Finally, the trauma of the Travelator. Ace balanced and controlled. Hunter storms up the hill, contra flow in seven strides. Hunter is the ultimate gladiator. Can we have a comment? Thank you. As he crashes through the paper burst, the smart money was on him all the way. As again, Hunter proves himself to be the supreme gladiator. Ace to the conveyor belt. No trouble. Fine effort. Hunter, the ultimate gladiator. Well done. Here's your prize. Come on, what have you got to say? Oh, oh, God. People have always said the gladiators are too big. They can't be contenders, but today the gladiators want to prove that wrong. We've done seven events with an eliminator. Believe me, it's very difficult. Um, I just want to thank all the people, you know, all the backstage, the medics, the masseurs, the crew, everyone's been great. My parents are in today. Their support, my girlfriend. It's been absolutely fantastic. So I want to thank them very much for, for leading me the way. Well, Hunter, here it is. Your check for £10,000. Well done. Go off and thank all your friends and your family and all the other gladiators who have supported you for eight years. Well done. Well, Ace, what can we say? It was probably the head start. Otherwise, it would have been much, much closer. Oh, no, I was praying he'd mess up on a seesaw. And he just didn't, did he? He just ran the whole thing faultless. And uh, to be fair, he deserved that 100%. He performed so well in all the games tonight. And uh, I'm just happy to get to the Eliminator and run it. I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, you certainly had to work for your money tonight. Let's hear it for Ace! What a fantastic end to our quest of looking for the ultimate gladiator. Hunter, they're psyched up right throughout, and for the seven years, I think, that he's been with us, he's been psyched up like that. And he's won a cheque for £10,000, and he deserves it, Ollie. Yeah, well, I'm sure to him it's not just the money, it's the pride and the title as well. Certainly. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you soon again, perhaps, on Gladiators. In the meantime, it's a goodbye from all of us here, and even these giggling right, rabble behind us. Good night. For safety reasons, do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators. Just one more episode left, and then it's all over. Get ready as we bring you the last ever episode shown 18 years ago this month. More Gladiators next, new to challenge. Over on Pick Next, they're down under, dealing with all sorts of naughtiness, and nothing to declare.